in the last video, I think it was video number eight, we determined that multiplying these two permutation symbols together, that their product is equal to the value of this determinant. So we're going to spend a few moments and expand this determinant out in minors and see what kind of an expression it gives us. So this will be equal to, we'll have 3, and then we'll have this times this minus this times this. So that will be 3 times delta JL delta KM. minus delta KL delta JM. Then we will have, we we'll write this as plus as we go across here, plus delta IL times. Now if we make that plus, then we have to have it like this delta Ki times delta Jm minus delta Ji delta Km. So you have delta Ki delta Jm minus delta Ji delta Km. And then for here, we will have plus delta IM. And then we will have this times this. No, I won't, because we're going to cover this up. Let's make sure we do it correctly. Cover this up, cover this up. We'll have this times this minus this times this. So we have delta Ji delta Kl minus delta Ki delta Jl. Okay, now it looks like there's nothing further we can do to simplify this term. So this equals 3 times delta JL delta KM minus delta KL delta JM. Now let's look, at, let's look at these terms. Here we have this being multiplied by delta IL, but this is zero unless I is the same thing as L. Then it equals one. So this I is going to be an L, and that I is going to be an L. And that's going to be one when I equals L. So this will be plus delta KL delta JM minus delta JL delta KM. And again, that comes from here. I has to be equal to L, so we have the same index, and that's 1. So that is now an L, and that is now an L. Is how we wrote it here and here. And then for this term, this is 0 unless i is the same as m. So that's going to be an m, and that's going to be an m. And of course, when i is m, that's just 1. So we have plus delta jm delta kl. That's from here, minus delta K. Now from here, I has to be equal to M. So I have delta KM 
delta j l. So these come from this term with i being equal to m. So that's an m and that's an m as we see it here and here. So here we have delta j l delta k m. Here we have minus delta j l delta k m. This one is multiplied by 3. Subtract this. We now have two of them. And also we have delta j l delta k m with a minus sign. So we have three of them here and we're subtracting two of them here. So there's one left over. So we have delta j l delta k m. We had three of them, subtracted two of them away, we have one left over. And then here we have plus j m k l, here we have plus j m k l, but here we have minus three times j m k l. So that's going to give us minus delta k l delta j m. And that then is the value of this determinant expanded out using minors and that is also equal to this product. So we have this equals epsilon ijk times epsilon i L M. And then here finally is our expression. And we will be using this in our future videos from now on. Um, let's see if there's a way that we can, a technique to help us remember it. Here we have J L inner, inner. Here we have KM, outer, outer. Then here we have JM, inner, outer, minus KL, K, outer, inner. So let's write this out and see if this helps us remember it. We had JL, that's inner, inner. Inner dash inner J L. Then that's times K M. That's outer, outer. So we have inner, inner times outer, outer. Then we have minus, look at this term, J M, inner, outer. Minus inner dash outer times K L, outer, inner. So again, the pattern is inner, inner, outer, outer, minus inner, outer, outer, inner. So see if that helps you remember it, because we're going to be using this now in all of our future videos. Okay, anyway, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will tackle some... Um, the next videos, not just the next one, but the next ensuing videos, we will tackle uh, complicated vector identities using this relationship. So that's coming up, and the playlist for all those videos is at the website digital-university.org.